Hello, good morning and welcome back to another Magical Moon video. It's about the seventh take we've done today. I've been mobbed by the resident turkeys, Harold and Roger, the dogs, the cockerels, the goats, everyone, and the wind is blowing. So we've just nipped into the tack room for a bit of privacy. I'm going to get on with doing that gutter along the front. So we're reusing the old gutter and we brought these new joiners. So it's going to be a good fix. And as we said, if we then end up doing modifications or we modernize it, renovate the Legends Barn, it's not going to be in vain because we've reused what we've got. I've also got these pieces of wood here, which are the extension pieces where we're going to put lay the extra tiles. And we need about 60 of those. Doesn't matter that they're second hand or they're going to be second hand because we're going to look for second hand ones. And they are going to sit on these pieces of wood. The water will run down. And as we said, it will drop down onto the other roof, which goes down to the middle gutter, which we're going to increase in size when we get on to doing the Legends Barn. But in the meantime, I've got something exciting to show you. So let's get on with it. And this is what I wanted to show you. These lovely fence panels spotted by Mummy Moon herself. And I think they're going to look fantastic on the outside of what will be the new feed storeroom. I'm really looking forward to doing it. I think it's going to set this area off and it's really within keeping. It's going to let those little lovely birds come in and nest as they do. But it's going to keep the other unwanted visitors out. So a good job all round. Really looking forward to doing it and I hope you'll enjoy it too. So let's go and do that gutter. Like 
So good afternoon everybody and welcome to the visitors centre. It's very special down here isn't it Charlie? It is. Yeah. Um, it's beautiful down here. Like we've got all the pictures of the horses. It's really, it's really nice. Celebrating the legend. So we've got our lovely late Cinderella. She's just up behind the camera there. And this is Ethel and Fouque behind me. Um, Khan, one of our one of our first horses that we took on. So yeah, it's a lovely place. It's a nice place to come and sit and reflect and realise just why we're doing what we're doing. And they do deserve it. As do they deserve all of your lovely gifts here. So Charlie's going to go through it with me. And what we, we're not going to name all the gifts because it's quite hard because there are multiple gifts of the same thing. But as I said before, I've got these bits of paper here. Some of them are anonymous, but some of them have got names on and we're going to put them all in the scrapbook. So when people come to visit the legends, the scrapbook will be in here and everybody will see, you know, how, your generosity, just how amazing you've been. So shall we start? What yes. have we got, Charlie? We have a beautiful leather head collar, which is leather, one of my favourite smells in the world. And it is keep him, give him something to do, keep him cleaning. Yes. So the reason I asked for the leather head collars is one, leather snaps. It's quite important if you have a horse and it's tied up on a synthetic head collar, they're made quite strong. You can get safety head collars now, but leather itself, especially this sort of leather, will snap. So if you have a horse that has a little moment or has a panic or is tied up to, um, you know, to a hook in the stables and pulls their head back or puts their head down and gets caught, that will just snap. But they also mould to the horse's head. So we've got one for each of the horses. Um, it will mould to their heads, it will be nice and comfortable, they're easy to keep clean, they don't sweat in them if they have to keep them on for any long periods of time, so they're just really, really nice. It's lovely to have he um, leather head collars. I've got head collars like this, but they're made of, um, they're shiny, what's that stuff called, you know, that shoes are made of? Oh, yeah. Um, patent, pa patent, 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 oh. It's shiny, anyway, it's like a shiny thing, and they're not, I, they, we use those for actually shows, we've taken the horses on the horse box, so we can't use those, so it's lovely to have restocked on leather head collars, yeah, and all the legends are going to have, I'm going to have tags made, so everyone will have a, a brass tag with their name on it, um, and obviously the inevitable will happen, as we know, and when it does, the tag will hang up in here with the head collar in memory of the horse, so really, really important, really, really touched, thank you to everybody that brought us a leather head collar, because just amazing i can't wait to get them on i'm not going to do it just yet because there's just too much mud bring spring out comes the hose pipe wash everybody yeah spray everybody with the show sheen which i don't have here actually show sheen is the bottle someone brought a white bottle with a black lid and it's called show sheen and it's a conditioner so when you spray it on the horses it makes their tails so you can brush through their tails and you can brush through their manes and it makes their coats all lovely and soft isn't it the only the only downside to it it does make your hands nice and slippery doesn't it it does and that is probably one of my biggest <laughs> i can't do with oily hands so yeah it does make your hands very very slippery so you'll be brushing and your brush will just fling off but your horses are lovely and clean so really really nice stuff so thank you to whoever brought that for us we have what else do we have charles um we have wormers oh, wait wormers so I've put more wormers on the, the um, dot com wish list. So we've got two wish lists at the moment. It's all been so confusing. We have the FR wish list, which if you remember your high school French, you might be able to just do it because it is in French and there's nothing I can do about that. You can't translate it. It's in French for us as well. So it's just a French site. So if you're good and you want to try, that's the one to go for. Or the other one is the dot com one because things are arriving and they're still arriving. So that has worked. I know some of you have had trouble and all I can do is apologise. I honestly do not know why that would be. But um, for the people that have, have managed to do it, you've supplied us with wormers. So this wormer is um, really for this time of year, um, and I think it is an autumn time, where you worm depending on the sort of thing that you'd find at that time of year. You would normally have a worm count done, and then you'd worm um, so you know what you're worming for, because worms can build up a resistance, the same with any animal, like a, a cat or a dog. They can build up resistance, so you have a, um, a worm count done so you know. All of the herd, the, the younger herd, have all come in, which you've seen in the previous videos. They've all had one of your wormers. And then the moment they've all gone back out into a smaller paddock, because we're going to be sectioning off all the paddocks, like Nick had said, um, to give them more, um, to be able to rotate them and give them better grass. Again, that's really, really good horse husbandry and that you, know, you need to look after your paddocks and worming and keep up with your worming and worm when it's needed. Not necessarily overworm, but just worm when it's needed. So the next thing that will be done will be the horses will come into their individual paddocks. The paddocks will be cleared of any, any 
poop, let's just say, um, and then we'll know what horse does what. Um, the, the sample will be sent to the vets, there'll be a worm count done, and they'll come back and tell us what the horses need to be wormed with. So you'll see on the dot com wish list, there's a few different wormers, because then I can worm for what they require, what they need. So, fantastic. Thank it you is. to all of you who brought us wormers. And also, very happy for the horses, it's apple flavoured. Yeah, apple so flavour. Even better. They enjoyed it. Normally they're like, yeah, no, but they're like, that's quite nice. Right, go on then, Charles. We have fly boots. Oh, and these are for who? Well, of course, disaster zone. Magic. So these are for magic. Magic has tiny little legs, ridiculously small legs oh. for the size of him. So these boots will be used in summer, or probably spring with magic, because he does seem to attract the flies. Um, and yeah. what you do is you pop them on. They will go um, up down his leg and they'll cover sort of at the base of his hoof um, and it will just stop the flies from landing on their legs because out here the flies land on their legs and I, have, it, I cannot tell you, it's mad for us isn't it, it we is. wear shorts. They land on our legs and they bite and it hurts, some of them no, really it hurt. It really hurt, like it's, it's more like a little needle pick. It is. But it, if you've got like 10 of them on your leg and you've got 10 needles going into it, it really yeah, it's does not hurt. very nice. So All I can imagine is them with little teeth and just like nibbing you. It does feel like that. So everybody, including little Liv, yep. has got a set of fly boots. So thank you very, very much because last year, you'll see in some of the previous videos, we did have fly boots for a couple of the horses, which were definitely magic had them and um, I think Epilang had yeah. them because Epilang goes crazy if a fly lands on him absolutely mad it becomes quite dangerous which you wouldn't think he's such a laid-back old thing but if he gets a fly on him oh it's just doesn't stop does he so we've got but you'll have noticed that um the horses are bandaged i bandage them just to keep the flies from landing on their legs and actually getting to them so these will be so much easier than bandaging and also the problem with bandages is if it's in summer in yeah. france it gets to 40 degrees so you're, they're basically their their legs are like twice as twice as hot as that if yeah so if you've got bandages on so you're sort of in a bit of a catch-22 really because you need to put something on their legs obviously to stop them from constantly kicking and trying to get the flies off but because it's so hot they they get very hot legs because they're bandaged but now they have mesh boots um so they will be able to yeah not have any flies down on their legs and that's all because of you so thank you very much to everybody who sent and um uh, gifted us some fly boots here. What else do we have, Charles? We have salt licks. A the salt, salt licks. licks. Well, no. these are going down a tree. I can tell you, there's like a storm. They love them. We, we've 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 been, we've had these before, um, but they're not as readily available in France. Actually, these ones. So you can get them, but you can they're sort of like you ever see them now and again, like one or two for sale. So everybody has got salt lick. Everybody in the field has got salt lick, and I have salt licks left, so I can keep updating it so i'll probably pop some more of those on the list as well because they're really good especially in summer again because you know all the lost salts from sweating and it's natural it's on himalayan rock salt so it's a good salt for the horses and encourages them to drink because that's another thing old horses can be a bit lazy so every now and again they do end up getting just off just slightly um dehydrated not all the time but just slightly dehydrated in summer when they really can't be bothered to drink so the salt will make them drink which is a really really good thing so Thank you to everybody who brought a salt lick. What do you have here? I'm so happy with these. <laughs> now this is not something I would ever normally be happy for because it's to do with machines. But the little tractor needed a new tyres. And I used the little tractor for feeds, to take the feeds down, it's mills on wheels. And now, well the little tractor broke in summer, we were going down the woods and it rolled over something and the, and the wheel just went pop. And it was like the end. I was like, Oh no, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to start carrying them down. And that made, that's like twelve feeds a day, so that makes twenty-four feeds a day. And that is well I mean it's exercise for the arms, but I'm very happy with these. Yes, yeah, so someone very, very, very kindly has brought the inner tubes for the tires and we're just sourcing the tires as well because then it means that the tractor will be back in the game and it she will be life changing because as I say, there's a lot of horses here. We go about on the quad bike as well, and we check when the herd are out, we check all around, and we go and do the waters, and we can put the waters in the back and put them in the splash, but we manage to get them up there. And So yeah, the tractor is a lifesaver, and she's not been working for a number of months now, and looks very sad sitting outside the kitchen door. Uh -huh. So these inner tubes and the tires are going to change 
Charlie's life <laughs> and make and my life slightly easier as well, I think. So thank you to whoever brought the inner tubes. It means the world. Her poor tyre, it's a pancake. It's on the floor. It's like dug into the floor now. Yeah. I, mean, I do feel bad She's for a bit her. of a wreck now. She is. She needs but some she, <laughs> she will bring. She will be brought back She'll to life brought, by the moon. What can we say? This is probably the cutest thing I think I've ever seen. This rug has been amazing, and the reason being, it took me quite a while to choose because, like I said, we don't want to put stuff on the wish list Ooh. that we don't really need. We've got, we're very, very privileged. We have lots of bits and pieces, but this Liv's rug was very important, and she did need it. And it's quite hard to fit Liv to a rug because she's so fine. So if you imagine a normal pony that's Liv's size and be quite stocky, Liv's so fine. She's like a tiny little horse. She's got, she's got like stick legs. Yeah, she's, she's a very she's, elegant little pony. So, so she's, she's got. Yeah, she's, she's really, really hard to um, to fit rugs to. So some very clever person designed this rug so you can actually look. You can make the neck part smaller or you know wider for depending on the size of the pony. So it fits her like a glove. She has two of these. The so two very special people brought these rugs for us, and I would just like to say thank you so much because it really has to see her playing in her new rug. She's got. A lighter weight one and, and a heavier weight one and it means that I can keep them clean and obviously you know rotate them as and when she needs them so thank you very much whoever gifted this it you know it's fantastic and yeah to be fair when I put this on I did think oh I'm not so sure I think that might be pushing it and I can when they arrived the two of them we just sat around our zone didn't we so yeah to the people that gifted these thank you thank you so very very much it means the absolute world and we're still waiting on bits to arrive um, i've been communicating with people through email so if your bit hasn't arrived i apologize the postal service in france can be quite slow so i'm sure they will come and i you know really look forward to again charlie and i will do a little a little bit a little get together and explain to you what we've got i know on the new list especially um on the french one there's some bits that really are, it's like a game, you really have to guess what it is, but it's for the horses and it's gonna benefit their lives and yeah, it's just amazing. And again, thank you so much for supporting us and um, we shall see you very soon. Bye. 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 times it's that time of the day little oscar robin is off to bed but we will be back with rupert mummy moon and me going over that beautiful map of the world and showcasing where you guys are from so keep watching
so and mum and dad when I was at school they put them up up it's in my room I didn't know I was really happy and we're gonna put the pins in everyone around the world and now I'm really happy we're gonna draw names back to the map of the world little Oscar Robin is fast asleep it's good news because we're now going to start plotting where you guys are and if you could just send us your name your country and roughly where you are would be brilliant because then we'll try and do you proud by getting us somewhere near this map is fantastic but it has as you can see it's not going to be scaled down exactly but we're going to do a little bit of investigation, which is going to be brilliant for the kids, just to narrow down around where you are in that country. So really looking forward to it. It's going to be fantastic. And it's just going to show that love spreading all over the world. So let's get on with it.